Hey everybody, how you doing? <clears throat> you know who I am, you know why I'm here. It's been a while since I posted a video. As a matter of fact, it's been a while since I posted anything. Figured I'd go ahead and do a, a two month update on my truck. I've done a couple of additions to it. Figured I'd uh, go over it real quick, show you what I've done. It's 2000 Chevy S10 ZR2. Uh, it's got the ZR2 package, I should say. It's got four wheel drive, four by four, automatic push button four wheel drive um i've added a couple things to it i did put a new fuel pump on it just like i said i would uh but the seal for some odd reason would not seal so i was told to try using uh wd-40 i was told to use uh petroleum jelly uh something that would give it a little more ease of uh fitting into the um the spot where the gasket goes into which i'm going to give that a try here probably within a week or two and as you can see I have new uh, windshield wiper blades they're double bladed they're also color coded to match the truck um, what else uh, yeah new toolbox and I have some tools in it and it's locked always stays locked I do apologize for the darkness of course I'm in the garage and those lights ain't the best uh, I have added new tail lights and i actually like these because you can actually see the brake lights and the backup lights a lot better paid about 50 bucks for them online i finally did get a tag for it so the the 30 day or 60 day tag or whatever it is they give you uh it, it did expire but i managed to get the uh, memorandum title so i actually got everything that it needs uh inside uh, you probably can't see them very well, but I have new pedals. Uh, they just bolt on over the old ones. Go ahead and take the key out for that binging noise. And I also got a new shifter, like you saw, probably seen before. Let's see if I can't get that to focus. Eh, it's not going to focus, but that's all right. It's a five-speed um, shift knob, and it also has the color coded to match the truck itself, the color. I'm still waiting on the stereo to come in the mail. I got the um, the in-dash kit for it already. It came with the wire, the antenna wire hookup, uh, and the face plate for it. Uh, I'm going to have to trim this right here. I'm probably going to have to cut this center piece off, probably from right here to right about there, and then put the new radio in. Uh, the new radio is in the mail as uh, well as... Oh, uh, that should be about it. Everything else is actually in. Uh, as you can see, it's got 164,869 miles. It goes up daily because I drive it here. Uh, just under 165,000 miles. We'll take a look at the engine real quick. Now, it has ran. It has drove pretty, pretty decently. Um, I've done some modifications to the motor, oh, basically add-ons, and replacing parts. Put this up as high as it'll go for you, so you can see it. The motor is a 4.3 liter V6 Vortec. Vortec V6. Um, I put a new ABS uh, fuse and the ABS light is still on. The brake light comes on and goes off as it goes, I was told. Uh, I have a, um, a OBD2 reader, digital, and it says the right front brake sensor is bad, so I'm gonna have to have that replaced. New battery, new plugs and wires, new cap, new rotor, new coil, new EGR valve, and this check engine light still comes on, and I was told it was because of the um, the uh, spider injector, so dealership is going to replace the spider injectors for me. And I'm just going to be paying extra when I make my final, mon final monthly payment. And I thought that I was gonna have it paid off by August. It turns out I may end up having it paid off in September, which I really can't complain. I mean, I got the best value for this truck. Paid 3,500 for it put 1400 down and I'm paying 
basically $100 a week until it's paid in full. And then I get the title. So factory running boards, that little thing right there coming off of it is from underneath the door. I tried putting it back on. It will not stay on. So that's just going to go as is, as it is. I might just take it off. I replaced the fuel pump, like I said, but the seal I'm going to have to put back on. Uh, what else have I replaced? Um, I replaced the tail lights like I showed you. I replaced the, got a new tr uh, to toolbox for it. I replaced the door handle for the third door, but I rarely use it, even though it does work. Matter of fact, I'll go ahead and show you. It needs to be adjusted, but it does open. This is all my uh, <clears throat> liquid cleaning stuff and additives. Inside, I got a tool kit. Uh, the other toolbox is actually in the toolbox. Uh, that's, um, that's my cleaning supplies, some leftover cleaning supplies that are drying off. You know, just the basics. So I don't really plan on doing very much more to this. I may consider getting a new dash because that's broken. But other than that, I think I'm pretty much done with this truck, you know, upgrade wise. You can see the crack a little bit better right there. Speakers cracked. Not really worried about it because I can't really see it that well. Not even worried about what people would think about it. Um, it's an old truck. It's basically my work truck for security. It's an old beater. Got a lot of miles on it, but it still runs and drives good. That speaker's good. Uh, this right here needs to be replaced. It's broken off right here, so there's nothing from here down. The one on the driver's side still good. Other than that, <clears throat> it's not a four-door extended cab. It's just a three-door extended cab, so, you know, you get what you pay for. Uh, the only thing that's wrong with it really is this tire needs to be replaced. And this is also the tire that the sensor needs to be replaced on too. So that's pretty much it. And I'm probably gonna get this tire here probably from uh, a used tire store. Oh, it also needs a spare tire. The one underneath is gone, so it needs a spare tire. And I'll probably get that most likely from a junkyard. Either get a rim for it and then get a good tire or get one that's already good and, and already mounted on. Other than that, it, this truck's pretty much finished. Still haven't been able to get this off. I don't think this is a company that's in business anymore. I had a lot of people uh, ask me, what is, you know, uh, losecompany.com? I told them, I don't know. That's the way I got the truck. It was probably their work truck. They probably sold it, and the guy that owned it after them probably sold it to a junkyard, or not the junkyard, the auction, and... The dealership I got it from got it from that auction, so I'm like the fourth, maybe fifth owner of this truck. So there's your update. And the truck is still running, just under 165,000 miles. So I believe the next update I have to do is on the Ford Fiesta. Yes, I still have that car. I also have to do an update on the uh, Volkswagen Jetta. I still have it. The Buick Century is, I've already done the update on that. It's still, I still have it. Um, I switched back and forth between the Volkswagen and the Buick for my pizza shop job. Uh, this is strictly for my security job and my girlfriend Angie drives the Ford Fiesta. So every vehicle does get used. I don't just tag them and bag them. I drive them just like every other vehicle that people have. You know, they don't just sit in storage and not be drove. I don't tag it and bag it. I drive every single one of them. Uh, the one with the least amount of miles would probably be the Fiesta. It's got under, I think, 36,000 miles, maybe. So there you go, about a 10-minute video. And uh, that'll be it for now. I'll talk to you all later. Until then, stay clean, practice your social distancing, wear your mask where you have to, and above all else, love on each other. Talk to you later. Bye.